Why is Lucasfilm covering up Matt Smith's secret Star Wars role? We still have over six months until the final episode of the Skywalker Saga gracing the big screen, leaving us to dissect every little morsel, tidbit, and table scrap left on the floor for any clue or hint as to what will happen in this final chapter. And like last week when it slipped in Vanity Fair that Kylo was mowing down the Knights of Ren in the Rise of Skywalker teaser, a statement that has since been retracted, it looks like Disney may have overplayed their hand once again after they quietly removed Doctor Who actor Matt Smith from the cast listing of the movie on Friday. Of course, this has us and the internet asking, why is Lucasfilm covering up Smith's secret role in Star Wars? We have a theory, and we're going to break it down right now. Now, before we get into it, this episode of Nerdist News will be full of speculation and potential spoilers for Star Wars Episode Nine. so if you want to go into The Rise of Skywalker without a head full of knowledge, then this isn't the video you're looking for. <laughs> So how did this whole mystery start? Well, let's start from the beginning and follow the clues. Now, it started out innocently enough. Back before we even had a title in August of 2018, Variety reported that Doctor Who alum Matt Smith would be joining the cast of Episode 9 in an undisclosed role. This news sent fans into a tizzy wondering who Smith could play. Would he be in the Resistance, a new leader of the First Order? Nobody had a clue, but theories were swirling. However, the fan theory that gained the most steam was that Matt Smith could be playing a young version of Emperor Sheev Pal Palpatine, a.k.a. Darth Sidious. At the time, it might have felt far-fetched, but that was before we heard Palpatine's ominous laughter in the Rise of Skywalker trailer. Add to that fact that Emperor actor Ian McDiarmid appeared on stage at Star Wars Celebration to roll the teaser a second time, and it basically confirmed that Palpatine would be involved in Episode 9 in some way. Now let's head back to February of 2019, before we even knew Episode 9's title or any other real info. In an interview with Richard E. Grant, another Doctor Who alum who we now know is playing Allegiant General Pride, he was asked if his Star Wars character would share screen time with Matt Smith, to which he replied, I would be fired if I told you anything about that, which sounds way more sinister than the standard no comment. Now, the next clue came up in March of 2019. Matt Smith was asked in an interview with the LA Times about his undisclosed role in Star Wars. His answer, as far as I could tell, I'm definitely not in it. Hmm. Things are getting interesting. At the aforementioned Star Wars celebration in April, we finally get the title and teaser for Episode 9, which officially revealed that Palpatine will somehow factor into the story. Fans also noticed that the Disney UK website for Episode 9 listed Matt Smith as a new cast member alongside Naomi Aki and Dominic Monaghan. Now, this info dropkicks the Matt Smith as young Palpatine fan theories into overdrive. So it's official, right? He's totally in the movie, and everyone has been lying or covering it up, right? certainly seemed that way until last Friday when the Disney UK website quietly had Matt Smith's name scrubbed from the write-up. So what the hell is going on here? Well, we think there are two paths that the clues lead us on. Number one, Matt Smith is not in the movie. Perhaps Matt Smith was originally in the film, as Variety reported last year, but as the film moved past shooting and into the edit, Smith's character got cut out of the movie. Or maybe it was all just wild rumors that got out of hand. It's plausible. Also, kind of rude to Matt Smith if that's what happened. Number two, Matt Smith is still in the movie and his role is meant to be a surprise for us in December. Matt Smith's announcement got the internet rumor mills fired up early and they were quick to equate Matt Smith with Palpatine. If so, this would blow a huge spoiler for the movie and knowing how JJ loves to shock his audience with twists, this reveal would certainly take a lot of wind out of the movie's sails, kind of like knowing Han Solo got killed by Kylo or the reveal that Crate wasn't, in fact, covered in snow. Salt. Ultimately, this feels like this is some light damage control from Disney and Lucasfilm, similar to the retraction Vanity Fair made with the whole Kylo killing his BFFs, the Knights of Ren. It sounds like fans were guessing a little too close to the mark. For now, it feels like Matt Smith's involvement in Episode 9 is about a 50-50 split. However, we won't be surprised if he turns up in The Rise of Skywalker either as a clone of Palps, a flashback, or even a pawn who has been possessed by Sheev's spirit. Of course, we won't know for certain until the film's release this December. But what do you folks think? Is Matt Smith in The Rise of Skywalker or not? Could he be playing young Emperor Palpatine? And did you know that he was in Terminator Genesis? Because seriously, he's in that movie. I had no idea until I read this today. Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new show or video. And if this isn't enough Star Wars for you, check out last week's Nerdist News where we uncover the truth about the Knights of Ren as well as dig into the Vanity Fair Star Wars photoshoot.